myself priyanka we are gradually gradually mastering the concept of toc in the topic deterministic finite automata already in in our previous lectures we have already seen how to design a dfa next topic is language acceptability by a dfa language acceptability by a dfa it says that when a dfa is given whether how to check whether dfa accept that string or not accepting that string you have done in your uh, previous videos we have already done how to check whether a string is accepting or not accepting in a informal way now we are checking whether a string is accepted by a dfa or not in a formal way for that beyond um, different from the earlier videos we have named the each state that is for each state as being named we can just name q0 q1 q2 q3 or a0 any symbols we can use no, it is better conversion uh, convention it is q's q at uh, q is in all text we use the convention that a state as named by q0 first state is q0 q1 then q2 q3 i am doing this is called what transition diagram we have already i have already studied in my previous lecture this is called this representation is called what transition diagram next representation to uh, represent a dfa is the transition table method how a transition table method how dfa can be represented in a transition table method i will always say transition diagram is the most easiest method than transition table so if you have to represent anything in transition table better draw the transition diagram and then map to the transition table that is the good method because otherwise errors will be coming in transition table we have two row columns that is state and input okay in the states we have we must see what all states we are having q0 q1 q2 and q3 in input what all we having 0 and 1 okay so in this transition table we say from q0 to 0 q0 accepting 0 symbol where it will go q2 so we will mark here q2 again i will say the state q0 on accepting 0 which state it will go it will go to a q2 q0 accepting 0 go to a q2 so i will write here q2 then q0 accepting 1 it will go to a q1 it will go next one q1 or accepting 0 it will go to a q3 it will go next q1 on accepting 1 it will go to a q0 it will go okay likewise q2 on accepting 0 it will go to a q0 it will go next one q2 on accepting 1 it will go to a q3 okay next one q3 on accepting 0 it will go to a q1 and q3 on accepting 1 it will go to a q2 it will go like that from the transition diagram you can build a representation of dfa that is transition table both are accepted but i will say the most easiest method is that transition diagram method because to represent like this it is better to have a diagrammatic representation okay so this is the transition table method you just map the states and you list the inputs and from the state where it go you can specify here okay now moving to our topic that is language acceptability by a dfa so in this question we are checking whether this dfa accept the string 110 sorry 110 101 whether this dfa accepts the string 11 Zero one zero one. So you can check in the informal way. That that is from Q zero it is starting. From one it goes to Q one. Then again one it will goes to a 
q0 it will go from q0 0 it will go to uh, q2 and from q2 1 it will go to q3 and q3 to 0 it will go to uh, q1 and q1 to 1 it will go to uh, q0 so last state we will come with q0 q0 is the accepting state so this string is being accepted okay so how we can write in a formal way that is the topic we are discussing in this lecture so first of all what all symbols we are using the symbols is represented by the letter sigma in the automata so sigma what all symbols we are using 0 and 1 as the symbols we are using what all states we are using state is represented by the symbol capital Q states what all states we are using Q0 Q1 Q2 comma Q3 that is capital Q is the states what all states we are using that is represented by the capital Q capital F means final state which is the final state accepting state is the final state that is Q0 is the final state next is the initial state initial state is represented by the small letter Q0 what is the initial state Q0 itself Q0 notation as Q0 and the state is named as what Q0 don't be confused the notation of the uh, start state is Q0 and the start state in this DFA start state is what Q0 okay this is a general what all symbols we are using that is I have discussed okay now we can move to our question whether 1101 is accepted by the DFA okay so DFA we write delta delta means transition transition means what when q0 accepting one go to q1 then q0 is transited to what q1 that is represented by what delta delta means transition from one state to another state that is represented by what delta transition for example if you have self loop here transition of q0 to q0 itself that is represented by the delta delta means transition word to go on accepting any input word to go is represented by what delta so delta first in delta we write starting state that is in the first delta uh, as the parameters first we write what starting state comma what is the input we are having one one 0 1 0 1 okay that is starting state is q0 we have what string we have to check 1 1 0 1 0 1 and we mark a arrow here arrow here means which symbol is to be checked that is sorry which string or in the, sorry in the which string which um, number you have to check that is represented by the arrow once again i will say arrow represent which string is to be looked now okay so delta q0 so for example uh, so, sorry now for here in this situation q0 on 1 go to work q1 so we can write delta q0 on 1 go to work q1 so we write here q1 comma this symbol is already seen that is in dfa we have one we i have already said in dfa when we see one symbol we see and then we move to next so which symbol is to be seen is represented by the arrow so q0 on 1 go to work q1 so from this state the dfa has moved from this position dfa has moved to the next position so q1 10101 so arrow comes here so next one q1 on 1 2 q1 on 1 goes to uh, q0 so we can say delta q0 0 1 0 1 okay so arrow comes here next one q1 
zero on zero goes to our q two. So q two comma one zero one arrow comes over in the top of the one. Next one q two on one q two on one goes to our q three. So q three comma zero one. Okay. Q three comma zero one. Now arrow comes on the top of the zero. So Q three on zero. Q three on zero goes to a Q one. So delta Q one one. So arrow comes on the top of one. So Q one on one goes to a Q zero. So delta Q zero. Any other string uh, left here? No. So it is marked by what? Epsilon. So epsilon we are marking. So Q zero on epsilon. Epsilon means no signal is coming. So it will stuck in that state itself. That is the final state. So this string is being accepted. So. When it reaches the final state, when it is epsilon, that string is being accepted. Okay, so we can write what all state we have seen. This string has seen what all state. What all state from Q zero, it have moved to Q one. Q one, it have moved to Q zero. Next, in from Q zero. Q, uh, sorry, Q zero on one it have moved to Q one. Q one on one it have moved to Q zero. Q zero on zero it have moved to Q two. Q two on one it has moved to Q three. Q three on zero it has moved to Q one. Q one on one it has moved to what? Q zero. This is the what all state transition. This symbol or this string has been performed in the DFA. So corresponding to every string in a DFA, which uh, which is being accepted, there we will have a transition set that is from Q zero to Q one to Q zero. That is explained here. Okay, so in language acceptability, you will be given a DFA, and you will have to check the strings, uh, which all strings. The so that will be also given. Some strings will be accepting, some strings will be not accepting. Now we have discussed an accepting string that is one one zero one zero one. So delta transition start from the initial state and take one by one the string. Um, uh, inside the string, the uh, alphabets that is here. First one we take one, next one we have taken, then zero, etc. If you are reached in the, when the string is become null, if you have reached the st accepting state, then your string will be accepted, or otherwise it will be not accepted. After that, if the string is accepting, you can write the transition series of the states. states which have been accepted your string next we can see another example that is which is not accepting how will we it works we can see we are considering the same dfa But string will be different. I am modifying the string as one zero one zero one. So delta Q zero on one it goes to a Q one. So delta Q zero on one. What alphabet we are considering one as the alphabet. So. Uh, Q zero on one, we are going to uh, Q one, and next alphabet in the string to be considered is the zero. Q one on zero, it goes to uh, Q three, so Q three one zero one. So next alphabet to be considered is one. Q three on one. Q three on one it goes to a Q two so delta Q two comma zero one so next alphabet to be considered is the zero Q two on zero it goes to a Q two on zero it goes to Q zero then next alphabet to be considered is the one so Q zero on one it goes to a Q one 
so q1 comma epsilon but when the string reached epsilon it is in the state what q1 so q1 is the not accepting state it is a non accepting state so this string is not being accepted it is rejected like that you can check whether uh, if a dfa is given you can check for the formally you can check with the delta transition whether the string is accepting or not accepting okay thank you keep practicing keep safe